I wanted to start by showing you guys what the stock system looks like and we laid it out on the floor here so you can see. Up front here are the front flanges that bolt to the catalytic converters. All the emissions control devices are north of here so you're not removing or replacing any emissions control devices with this system. Uh, you'll notice it is a dual system and uh, there is a crossover pipe right here which is a stamped X-pipe. Typically stamped X-pipes uh, don't perform so well. They're really inexpensive to make, um, which is probably why they're being used here, but a lot of improvement can be made over a stamped X-pipe. Uh, as you move through here, you get further south down the system. At this point here, these are really the only um, mufflers or resonators in the entire stock system. In this case, they're resonators. Uh, they're fairly small, but they do attenuate quite a bit of sound, so it gave us some room here to, to kind of play with this idea in this section here. Um, as you move further south on the stock system, this is something uh, I really want to point out to you guys. These vents, there are two vents on the other side as well. This is called resonant free pipe technology. It's relatively new. It's an idea that's been around for a long time, but this new material was developed that allows sound waves to escape without exhaust gases escaping. And so what these do is these take care of the drone. And I want to point these out because I'm going to get to it later. Um, you no longer need to put a big Helmholtz resonator on there that's expensive and heavy to get rid of drone. And this is really, really important uh, for this system. As you move further down, uh, here are, well, here's a stock tip or here are the stock tips. Um, just a ball joint connecting the stock tip. And uh, now I'm going to move on and show you what we did with our system actually on the truck. So I'm under the T-Rex now and we have the boreless system on the truck so I can really show you what we did on the truck itself. Um, here's the front flange, the catalytic converters are just north of here, or the catalytic converter on this side is just north of here. There's another one uh, over on this side. This pipe crosses over so you have the entire dual exhaust running down the passenger side of the vehicle and when you get on the other side of this brace here, you really get a good look at our switch fire technology. And this is our crossover pipe that replaces that stamped X pipe from the factory that I was showing you. And you can see how the switch fire design works. There are collectors here breaking up each bank into two. Um, half of it is gonna go straight through here. Um, so that's a big reason why our X pipe is gonna outperform the stamped X pipe and then on top you get your crossover, uh, much cleaner crossover design and um, it's not done arbitrarily. This is patented technology. We worked really hard to achieve this and I think you're gonna love what it does on this truck. We have a separate video if you wanna watch more about our switch fire technology. As you come further down, remember the stock system had resonators here and what we elected to do is use our polyphonics technology which you can see here. Um, again, another patented technology that we have, and there are numerous pipes inside of these housings of varying lengths and diameters that are based on organ pipe technology. And um, what it does is it creates more than one exhaust note together, like harmony. And uh, if you're interested, I encourage you to watch the polyphonics video that we made for more detail on our polyphonics. And this is pretty much right here where the midsection of this exhaust ends you'll see a clamp right here, and that's where these over axle pipes begin, which I showed you on the stock system that have those vents in them. And as we move to the rear of the vehicle, I'm gonna show you what we did back here. Now that mid pipe that I just showed you with the switch fire technology and the polyphonics technology is gonna be offered as its own separate part number. And what's so cool about that is that it will mate to the stock over axle pipes with those vents in them that I showed you earlier we will be offering our own over axle pipes as well. In this particular configuration, we've also added our Borla tips that will mount to the stock over axle pipes, but you can also leave the stock tips if you'd like to do that as well. So it really gives you a lot of options as far as what you wanna do with your particular T-Rex.